Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can navigate the Linux file system with the NNN file manager. Now, NNN, uh, triple N, I guess you could call it as well, is a terminal based file manager. And to install it, you need to check the description of this video. Once you have it installed, though, you can launch it with the following command. Now, as you can see, this is an overview of my file system and I'm using up and down on the arrow keys to view the different folders. I can open up any folder by just selecting the enter key. So let's say I want to go to my data folder, I can press enter and then I can go into my Dropbox folder by pressing enter again. And uh, let's say I want to look at the wallpaper. You can see all the files here, they're all in here. And uh, if any of them I want to launch, I can just select it with the enter key and it will launch with the default program, which for some reason is GIMP. So it's pretty cool. It's basic stuff. Now, if I want to go up a level, I can press H. Now H will bring me back one level. So now I'm in Dropbox. Now I'm in data, Derek, home, root, and so on. Basic stuff. There's a whole lot to know about the, about the uh, NNN file manager. It's very, very useful. I think it's better than just writing CD and LS like a hundred times to access folders. I use it on servers quite a lot, actually. It you, you get you get a better uh, you get a better experience if you have it on a Linux desktop though, because you can open up like I I tried to execute this program here. I can open up like uh, you know document files into LibreOffice like so, which I can't do like on a server, it's only going to be able to open up like, uh, you know, different terminal based programs. And even then, like, it doesn't exactly know how to execute stuff all the time. Like you have to exit it. You maybe you can copy the file location. So it's definitely targeted towards users on the Linux desktop who like terminals and want to use a fast terminal file manager. But uh, it's usable on servers. I've done it before. I highly recommend just at least checking it out. Like I use Thunar on XFCE and it's a very nice file manager, but sometimes it's nice if you're working in a terminal to just open up NNN and quickly launch something. You don't have to take your hands off the keyboard and so on. So in this video, we went over the basic functions like up and down and selecting and opening stuff. But if you want more information on how this file manager works, please check out the write-up that I did in the description of this video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.